All right, Chuck, what kind of bridge is this one? An arch bridge. Arch bridge, that's right. Mm -hmm. so put an arch of paper underneath. The books are six inches apart for the instructions. You can see it kind of sagged a little bit because we have four pennies on here. Let's see. But it's still what? not collapsing, is it? Yes. Okay, keep going. <laughs> we're going to keep stacking pennies on until the thing collapses. And then we're going to see how many pennies it held. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six pennies, seven pennies. Oh, and down it goes with seven pennies. Okay, since it has to be made completely out of paper and we don't have to do a pillar bridge, what did we use for pillars, Chuck? Uh, balls of paper. Right, that's the only thing you can think of that would be strong out of paper. <laughs> I feel All right. like this isn't gonna pull I don't up know, much. dude. We'll try it. If this works, good job. The bridge is two balls of paper One, and pillars underneath. Two, three, four, start slide. Five, six, seven. I keep them over here too. Eight, nine. Oh, I just noticed things go past. Ten. Oh, well, you're oh. dropping them on here too. <laughs> the, the impact, the force. Alright, that was 10 pennies. So that's our 10 penny bridge, 10 penny pillar bridge. That bridge is so I, I thought... Okay, Chuck, so what is this bridge? It's a hybrid. A hybrid? Why yeah. do we call it a hybrid? Because what, what two designs did you pick for this? Uh, a pillar bridge and an arch bridge, and then the last one. No, you didn't do an arch bridge on this one. You. What did you do with the paper here? Show it. Tell us what this is all about. I folded it and kept the two pillars under it. And why did you fold the paper up? To to make it a little bit stronger. And it's stronger because it is thinner, thinner. or it's, it's wider. Or, or is it it's, thicker? Yeah, thicker. <laughs> thinner. Okay, so he folded the paper over. I kind of had help with that. Um, to thicken up the bridge cover, uh, the transporting part, and then we decided to keep the two pillars underneath it since they were pretty strong. Let's see what this one can do. Go ahead and stack your pennies. One. Well, he calls this one a hybrid bridge. We called it a, I forget what the term was he had, but called it a hybrid. Two, three, four. Keep your pennies handy. I hope this works, because this is all me. Three. Oh, that's five. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Still hot. Twelve. Twelve. Oh, oh, keep going. No, keep going. Put those back on. It won't be an accurate count if we don't keep it. Don't bump the bridge. Don't bump the bridge. I'm going to help you get these back on. So we're at 12. This is 12 pennies. It's starting 12. to go. Oh, Set them on gently. 13. 13. Oh, back on there. 13. 14. 15. 16. 17. <laughs> we're going to say we call that a collapse. Yeah. All right. 14 pennies. 14 pennies that really started to bend into a V. Do you think that was a better bridge? Yeah, that was the the most successful bridge. That the most successful so bridge. Far. There you have it. All right, Chuck. So, what kind of bridge is this one? This is a a what was it What does that piece of paper look like to you? An arch bridge with arch bridge with a truss bridge. Yeah. And truss, we call it truss since we fold the paper to make it thicker. Because like this in the video, truss is French for bundle. And so we kind of bundled the paper so we made a thicker bridge over an arch. Chuck was like, hey, the arch bridge was kind of cool. The, the truss bridge with pillars was good. And what if we combine a couple designs? So we're going to see if this works. And we shortened the arch. Why? Because the paper was too long and it, it lifted the bridge off the ground, off up in the air. Two. Ooh. Three. 
Yo. That's a that's a quarter. Yeah. Put it, they were supposed to use pennies. That's gonna throw off the scale here. Let's use the right stuff. Okay. Three. And put it on the bridge. Four. Get this penny I'm back. Try and get them on the plank. This three, four. Like that. There you go. Three pennies. Oh, that's the pretty one. Mm -hmm. Let's grab the, some out back. Get Mr. Quarter out of the way. Here we go. Five, six. Not weighing down so much anymore. Not weighing down. No. Seven. Seven. Eight. Nine. Oh, no if this had, if this goes. Higher than 14, then this will be the winning, winning yeah. bridge. Eight. No, you have to ten. Ten. We may have to count it after we get done. Eleven. We'll double check the penny count when it falls. Twelve. Ooh, it's starting to go. <laughs> it's still falling. Go, 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 go. Fourteen. That's thirteen. Oh, and down it goes. Let's count those pennies. So the bridge crashed. It's 14 pennies again. Well, let's count them. Here. Count these pennies out, Chuck. Count the pennies. Here we go. How many do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yep, exactly 14, 14. pennies. Right. All right, so it tied the other bridge, didn't it? Yeah. Okay, we got two decent designs. We couldn't beat it. And there you go. What do you say? Thanks for watching.